Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Sean with All Things EV, and I'm excited to bring to you this interview that I did a few weeks ago with the city of Denver to talk about the very first all-electric street sweeper in the US. But first I wanna tee up a couple of things here to make sure that everyone watching this video understands why this is valuable, not only for the people and residents in Denver, but also for people in other cities too that could benefit from their cities buying something like this. I wanna first talk about why it makes sense for cities like Denver to move away from the conventional diesel-powered street sweepers to electric. And the first one is, there's little to no noise pollution, which means that it's silent, it doesn't make any noise, and aside from the brushes running across the asphalt and pavement, there's really no noise that people around have to deal with. If you've ever heard a street sweeper go by in the middle of downtown, it's actually quite noisy. The second reason is, is that there there's a significant cost advantage to adopting an electric version over diesel. In fact, I'll give you a real life example of how electric is more efficient than the petrol powered version. I own a Tesla Model S and recently I did a cost analysis on what it cost me to run and operate my vehicle and I compared it to a similar priced Audi A7. What I found out was actually really, really surprising. It was 76% less expensive to own and operate over the Audi A7 because of its electric powertrain. Less moving parts, fuel to power an electric vehicle, which is electricity, is far less expensive. And then lastly, and probably most importantly, especially for the city of Denver, is that it has zero emissions. It's emitting zero fumes from the vehicle. And you might be thinking, is an electric vehicle really that much cleaner than a petrol powered vehicle since you have to plug it in and that comes from the grid? The answer is yes. Excel's grid here in Colorado is actually pretty clean. About 28% of the power generation is coming from renewables, and that's a 2017 snapshot. However, in 2026, the grid will actually be 53% from renewable energies. And so this grid actually has the ability to get cleaner over time versus a street sweeper that is diesel powered will always be diesel powered until the day that it gets scrapped. And if the city of Denver chooses to buy carbon offsets, this could be a 100% renewably powered vehicle. In fact, in a 2013 TED interview, Elon Musk got this same question about the efficiency of power generation at the vehicle level versus the grid level. And he explained that the grid level is actually 40% more efficient at generating power than at the vehicle level. Um, there's two elements to that answer. One is that even if you take the same source fuel and, and produce power at the power plant and to use it to charge electric cars, you're still better off. So if you take, say, natural gas, which is the most prevalent to hydrocarbon source fuel, if you, if, you, if you burn that in a modern general electric natural gas turbine, you'll get about 60% efficiency. If you put that same fuel in an internal combustion engine car, you get about 20% efficiency. And the reason is, in the stationary power plant, you can afford to have something that weighs a lot more, uh, is voluminous, and you can take the waste heat and run a steam turbine and generate a secondary power source. So, in effect, even if you take in transmission losses into account and everything, even using the same source fuel, you're twice as, at least twice as better off charging an electric car than burning it at, at the power plant. Okay. That scale delivers efficiency. Yes, yeah. um, it does. And then the, the other point is, we have to have sustainable means of power generation anyway, electricity generation. So given that we have to solve sustainable electricity generation, then w it, it makes sense for us to have electric cars uh, as, as, the, as the mode of transport. The other thing that I was very curious about is what's the cost difference between the diesel powered street sweeper and the electric powered one? And what the city of Denver got back to me on was it's about a 30% premium to buy electric over the diesel powered version. So the diesel powered version costs between $160,000 and $170,000. And this electric street sweeper that you'll see here in just a moment costs the city $221,000. But the city will see an immediate 50% reduction in operation and maintenance cost on this street sweeper. Plus, once they hit their break even in four years, the cost to operate and run this thing will be next to nothing, only paying for the electricity. 
So let's go ahead and dive into the interview with Doug Legg, and I'll circle back around after the interview is done to wrap up. All right, what's going on, everyone? It's Sean Mitchell, and I am downtown with uh, the city of Denver here, Doug Legg, who heads up the public service maintenance, right? Yes, I uh, am a manager with street maintenance. That's really wonderful. And wh why am I downtown meeting with the city of Denver? Well, uh, last week I saw a Twitter post from the city of Denver uh, highlighting a brand new street sweeper. And this is actually really special because this is the first electric street sweeper in the U.S., correct? Yes, it is. It's the first. It is imported from Italy. Uh, we started looking for it about a year ago uh, and found this one. We did a pilot this summer, and we went after it to purchase it. What was the what was the cause? What what made you start looking into the electric version of a street sweeper? Well, the mayor has initiatives to look for alternative fuels, and I feel electric is the best option for a street sweeper. Yes, yes, that's great. Um, and there were no options in the United States, so that took you all the way to Italy. Yes, there was no options in the United States. We. we already were working with an Italian company for our larger diesel powered street sweepers uh, so they had a product in their line yep so with our relationship with them we started uh, pursuing that what were some of the things that that you saw as a benefit to the electric version of this sweeper so with the electric sweeper we have reduced maintenance because there's no combustion engine and it's a lot quieter for operation in downtown yes. uh, so it does not affect the public when we're sweeping next to them plus it aligns with the the zero emissions and initiatives yes. for, for the city and it aligns with all of our initiatives to reach more electric vehicles in our fleet do you have any idea on what the what the maintenance cost is on a diesel or or you know petrol powered version versus what you anticipate the cost being for uh, the electric one right now we expect to have about a 50 percent reduction yep. in maintenance costs yep yep um, and in terms of prices between the two so what, what what i think a lot of people are probably really interested in is when is that break even going to happen usually with electric at the moment the technology is just a little bit more expensive than, than the gasoline version so maybe you pay a little bit more up front but long term you should start to see some cost savings so yeah somewhere around the fourth year we should start seeing cost savings on maintenance yep we did have to pay a little bit more up front to get it but yes. i'd say somewhere around the fourth year we should see a savings yep uh, i think that's really fantastic and what what sort of training was required or was involved with uh getting, getting this into downtown and and in service so we have a smaller diesel sweeper uh, so running the sweeper for the routes is really not that much training. It really was just yep. training on the operation of the sweeper and where all the buttons are and how it works. Yep. Uh, the vendor trained us in about a half a day, worked with us for the next two days to make sure that we were doing everything that we were according to the manufacturer, yep. and we were off and running. In terms of charge time, how long does it take to do a full charge from, let's say, pretty much depleted to 100%? So from pretty much depleted to 100%, it takes about five and a half hours, and we charge it in our sweeper. Yep, and, and it sounds like you, you had the resources to be able to just pl plug it in wherever you keep that install, uh, stored and um, that, that charges and then it's ready to go for another how long? It'll run for about nine hours. Yeah, that, I think that's pretty amazing. Um, and, and I had a chance to look on the back specs and it is uh, just under 77 kilowatt hours for the entire battery pack and, and um, the, the, the plug is actually a little bit different than maybe what you might see with something else that you would plug in, like a phone. And so do you have any insight into um, the, the, the plug or the, the charging cable or anything so, like that? So being that it's a European sweeper, it's a European style plug. Yeah. Uh, so the plugs came with it, and that's the style of, that they use over there. So it's a very popular plug in Europe. What, what has been the, uh, the, the, the public uh, comment or reception on this? Have, have people noticed that it's electric and made any sort of comments? Do they so, like it? So through our pilot testing, people noticed it was electric and it, that it was very quiet. We were getting a lot of thumbs up from bicyclists yep. that we were yep. passing in, yep. while we were doing our maintenance. Um, now this this is a smaller version. You also have some larger sweet sweepers that are uh, diesel powered. You think it's possible that in in the future that you might want to consider something like this for the larger machines? Yes, we have expressed interest to the manufacturer of this machine and other machines that we would be interested in a all electric version of a larger sweeper. Yeah, super exciting. Well, I really appreciate the time and the insight. I think this is, this is super cool for the city of Denver. I mean, personally, I think that uh, it means less noise 
it means less air pollution, so better air to breathe as you're walking down the street. And um, I, I think that cost-wise, it makes a lot of sense being a uh, an electric vehicle owner. Uh, I know firsthand how much less expensive it is to operate and, and own an electric vehicle. So congratulations, and uh, I really commend the city of Denver for uh, this sort of initiative. Well, thank you for coming down and taking some time with us. Absolutely. All right, that wraps up this interview with the city of Denver. I commend them on taking this step towards reducing the emissions in the city, particularly downtown. And I'm super excited about what the future holds. If things continue down this road, we could see here in Denver street sweepers in the larger form as well as other city vehicles go zero emissions. Thanks so much for watching this video. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And if you're a regular, hit that like button. And I'll see you on the next video.